wash it. My morning usually starts around 6 these days. As soon as I wake up, the first thing I like to do is to remove the curtains and let all the light come in with the intention of waking me up a little more. This few minutes of quiet time is my favorite. Kaya starts school at 8 so she has to start from home around 7.30. I need to rush to the kitchen to pack her lunch box. I'm making some fresh rice for her in the pressure cooker and with that I'm going to make her some carrot pulao. For that in a karai I added some ghee then dropped in some jeera seeds then chopped onions and the grated carrots. Once they are fried a little I will add the boiled rice. I'm also going to pack one spinach paratha for her. This dough I have made last night with some blanched and pureed spinach, ajwain jeera powder and salt. Kaya is not very fond of parathas though I try to sneak them in at times. I'm wrapping it up with a paper foil to keep it soft. I have also added some scrambled egg curry that I made last night for dinner. Also some cut apples with peanut butter on the side and some caramel popcorn for her sweet tooth. Some of you have asked me how does Kaya carry a big lunch box, isn't it heavy? Her school has lockers for books for which she doesn't need to carry books with her. Her school bag is empty most of the time. Only at times when she has some assignment she needs to bring some books home. After dropping off Kaya, Parth and me, we go for our morning walk dedicatedly with Jude. He needs this run to stay happy the whole day. Though these days, since I'm getting quite heavy, it's very difficult for me to walk. I get tired very fast. Around 9, I prepare a quick breakfast. This is our most easiest rush morning option. Apparently, rolled oats is more healthier than the instant oats. Since instant oats is processed, it may contain some sugar content which is not advised for women during pregnancy due to the rise of increased blood sugar level. I'm going to make some anda bhurji, bread, butter and oats. Here I'm boiling one egg for Jude's breakfast. For the bhurji in a pan I have added some oil then the chopped onions, chilies and tomatoes and once it's cooked and mushy I will add the eggs along with some salt.
Here is Jude's breakfast, one egg with one slice of brown bread. We have an early dinner this day so I get very hungry in the mornings. We often think or we are told that we should be eating for two during pregnancy. But that's a myth. We should only eat as much as our body needs and that will contribute to a healthy pregnancy body. Today I also had to change our bedding in the master bedroom. Since it's summers, a frequent change is needed. I asked Part to help me with the fitted sheets. I hate putting the quilt cover on, it's so annoying to find the ends. I'm going to put the used bedding to wash and continue with the rest of the chores. This is the washed and dried laundry from day before yesterday and I have to put it away. I hate to do laundry, I always delay doing it all the time. This everyday chores can be so monotonous at times, but do we have an option? This is a basket where we keep our clothes that needs to go to our iron wala who sits in our basement. A lot of you have asked me if I have a house help. Yes, I do. She helps me in some of my household chores like jhadu pocha, dusting, bathroom cleaning, etc. She also cooks most of the days. However, I love cooking and at times some dishes which are a little innovative, I prefer to do it. Also things like putting the clothes in the wardrobe exactly where it belongs, that she doesn't do. I do it since I alone know how it has to be organized. These days, since Kaya started school and all her other activities are going on in full swing, most of the laundry contributes of her. Every day, there's at least two pairs that has to go to the laundry bin to be washed. Or for instance, things like washing shoes can't be delegated to a house help. It was a long pending task and I wonder what does she do to make such a mess. To a bucket, I will add few drops of dish soap, some laundry detergent and vinegar. I will soak it in that solution for few hours before scrubbing it. While that's soaking, I'll make a quick buttermilk. I'm told by my doctor to have buttermilk every day around 11.30 or so because of its innumerable benefits. At the same time, there won't be a big gap between my breakfast and lunch. For lunch today, I'm going to make a recipe of bharwa mirchi or stuffed chili. I also have some bhindi for making some bhindi onion fry. I 
I am also boiling two potatoes for making the stuffing of chilies. For the bhindi, I just added some nigella seeds to the oil, then the chopped onions and green chilies, and then dropped in the chopped bhindi with some salt, turmeric, and red chilli powder. After the bhindi is done, I'll make the aloo stuffing in the same karai. To the oil, I added some jeera seeds, chopped onions and green chilies, then the boiled and mashed potatoes with some salt and haldi. To the same karai, I'll quickly make a spinach chickpea pulao. And for that, I have added some ghee, jeera seeds, chopped onions, one handful of boiled chickpeas or chana, and chopped spinach. After the spinach gets a little soft, I will add the boiled rice to it. Now to the chilies, I'll make a slit and stuff the potato mixture in it generously. While all of that is kept ready, I'm going to make Jude's food. To a pressure cooker, I have added some olive oil, then I added two chopped garlic cloves and the chicken pieces. I get the chicken from Licius. He loves chicken gizzard. To that, I will add some spinach, beans and carrots along with some haldi and a pinch of pepper powder. A lot of you have asked me about Jude's diet and food habits. He eats all home-cooked meals. We initially tried giving him royal canine for a year on and off, but he seemed very unhappy and hence we switched. I will shallow fry the stuffed chilies in a cast iron pan that helps it to give the nice brown color. After it's fried and cooked well in the same pan, I will add some oil and then fry the chopped onions, green chilies, paste of two tomatoes, red chilli powder and some jeera powder. Then once the masala is nicely cooked, I will add the fried chilies and cook it for a while. Here's our lunch ready. My doctor advised me to have more vegetables with every meal. That ways I can cut down on my rice intake which not only is nutritious but it also helps in any unhealthy weight gain. It's time for my fur baby's lunch. We give him one handful of cooked rice mixed with the chicken stew I made. It's a 70 by 20% ratio, rice being 20 to 30% only. After lunch, I was too tired to do the shoe cleaning. I asked Pat to help me with that. Since he had less work pressure that day, he could do that, thankfully. I also have problems sitting low these days because of my belly. Look at the water, it turned completely brown. Kaya's shoes had accumulated so much of dirt. Parth had a hard time cleaning it. Hopefully from next month she has to wear school uniform to school with black shoes. That would make the dirt less visible. Come on, let's go. And my little tornado is back from school. In the evening, she either goes for her skating or taekwondo classes, which we recently enrolled her into. Bye. See you later. Alligator. Lemons maker. Oh. Not let me clean it. It's dirty, see? Move, 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 move. I wanted to clean Jude's bed and toys too. He chewed on his bed and tore it on one side. Hence I decided to stitch it and then put it to wash in the washing machine.
I'm also going to soak his bed towel and toys in a bucket with some laundry detergent and warm water. Soaking them for few hours helps to get rid of those tough stains and makes cleaning it easy. Almost evening and I feel hungry again. I have soaked some chia seeds with some milk and grated coconut last night. And I'm going to make a mango chia pudding for myself. To a bowl, I have added the soaked chia seeds, mango puree and mango slices and sprinkled it with some crushed almond. These bananas had turned all black and brown in two days time because of the summer heat and I didn't want to throw it away so I decided to make this recipe to pack for Kaya's snack in school. To three small overripe bananas I have added half cup of atta, some crushed almonds, one fourth cup of grated coconut, little bit of cardamom powder, one fourth cup of sugar, three tablespoon of oil. If you want to make it all healthy you can use jaggery powder instead of sugar. I ran out of jaggery. Also one fourth cup of rice flour. I will mix that well and add milk to make a not so thin or thick batter. In a paneeram pan, I will add one drop of oil in each compartment and add the mixture to it. Some of them were extra fried and burnt a little from the top, but it was super delicious and Kaya loved it. Wait, wait, wait. Parth wanted to eat this veggie pizza for a long time. He got this ready-made pizza base and the sauce. I helped him chop some veggies like onions, mushrooms, bell pepper, olives and grated cheese. It's 
he baked it at a high temperature and it got burnt a little on the top and now he says it is supposed to be like that it's a crunchy pizza version according to him kaya was hungry and so was parth so both of them had the pizza anyway For dinner I wanted to make some pav bhaji since the weather called for it. For that to a pressure cooker I have added veggies like carrots, beans, peas, cauliflower, two potatoes and half beet root. I will cook it for four whistles. I will reserve the water from the boiled veggies to use it later. In a pan I have added some butter, jeera seeds, chopped onions, ginger garlic paste, chopped capsicum and three chopped tomatoes. Once it's well cooked and mushy I will add pav bhaji masala to it and then add the mashed veggies, boiled water from the veggies along with some red chili powder and butter. I will also lightly toast the pav with some butter and it's all done. Jude hates his other bed. He is upset that his bed is still wet. Hope it dries soon. I'm so sleepy these days. I never slept before 12 at night usually. However, these days as soon as it's 10, I'm all drained out and ready to go to bed. I could also sleep in the afternoon and then again sleep early at night. <laughs> And that's it for today's one guys I hope you liked it my routine is the same like today on most days more or less thanks for watching today's video i will see you soon with a new one bye